Hi and welcome back. Uh, let's continue the work with the interactables and figure out how we can get the best suited uh, interactable. So in order to uh, continue this we should take a look at our trusted little t uh, drawing here. And um, uh, since we're working with uh, an array of uh, interactables, uh, red circles here, uh, and we want to find the best suited one, um, we have to plan a little bit ahead now. because. Um, we talked about the dot product in the beginning, and um, the dot product is, yeah, without going into uh, too much detail, let's uh, see, see uh, the dot product between two uh, vectors. Um, I can't remember the exact uh, mathematical explanation actually, but if you have two uh, vectors, this one, and you have another vector, uh, let's say this one, and they are both pointing in the same direction. Then the dot product will be um, one. Oops, that's supposed to be a one there. So if the dot product, uh, if you take the dot product of uh, two uh, perpendicular lines uh, like these, well, then the dot product will be um, zero. So if you take the dot product of this is getting messy, dot product of this one and a dot product uh, and uh, this one this will be zero as well. Uh, let's just type this out. And if you take the dot product of uh, a line going uh, forward, I should have made arrows actually. Anyway, you get the point while I'm talking and you have another one going the other way. I better make these arrows now. Like this and like this. Then the dot product will be uh, minus one. So, uh, we're going to uh, make use of this to determine uh, which one is closest. Uh, so, we will work with a kind of a threshold, uh, saying that if within a certain threshold, then we are going to highlight this uh, interactable. So, let's return to, uh, to the project here. And um, since we need to, we are working with an array uh, of interactables, uh, this one. We kind of need to enumerate these and pick out the the one that is best suited. So uh, let's make a structure for this actually, and we can do this inside the um, what is it? Hmm. No. Interface. No. Selenius. So sorry, I can't remember. Why. Oh, of course it's blueprints. So let's make a struct, and let's call this just for let's call it interactable struct. All right. So in this uh, inside here, we want to make uh, a dot because it's a dot product, uh, and the dot product is a float, uh, ranging from zero to one depending on the, on the, the vectors uh, in play. So if they, they are all normalized, they will go from zero, uh, minus uh, one to one. And we'll also make another um, uh, variable in here. And let's hang on a sec. Um, this is gonna be our interactable, yeah. All right. And we type interactable. All right. So now we have something that we can uh, a struct that we can work with, and um, so let's give me a moment. Yes. Inside the the every tick actually we want to check what is our best um, interaction or interactable so uh, I don't think we have a tick event anywhere already so event tick I'll just make one here and let's make a function again so we don't get all this stuff out here and call this uh, update best 
position and let's hook this up whoops um, update best interaction yeah All right so let's start implementing this uh, what we want to do inside here is to take a look at the, the list of interactables we have so and we want to check first of all do we have uh, any inside this is this empty or not um, so let's just say is this greater than zero and then make a branch say if this is greater than zero then we are going to do something uh, to get the best interaction because then we know uh, interactable and then we know we have the least one so we could start continue working with this because but uh, since i already know that we need to make kind of a lot of uh, logic in between these two i will actually make a new function already here so it's kind of uh, out of the way and let's get uh, make, make this one and call get best interaction like this okay and from here from the true we will call this for now, let's not uh, plug anything in here. Uh, we can make a comment here so we remember that we have to get back to this. Uh, handle false. So, all right. So inside uh, this um, um, get best interaction, we need to enumerate uh, this uh, list of interactables uh, and. To work with this, we, let's take make use of our little <coughs> little struct we made, and uh, I'm just going to make this a local variable because we don't need it anywhere else. And I'm going to call this uh, current best interactable. So, and this is not going to be uh, an array, and this is not going to be an, an interactable. This is going to be a type struct. Uh, interactable struct. This one. So this is this little blue one here. So let's drag this in and uh, set this to to an, an initial value. And the neat thing is that you can right click and say split struct pen. And um, if you remember from the drawing, the worst. Uh, possible uh, interactable would be the one pointing directly away from us so that would be minus one so if to initialize this one and make sure that this is the, the first this one is going to get overridden I'm going to set uh, hard code this to be the worst um, candidate <coughs> um, that uh, we can possibly could possibly have so we make sure that this this variable in other words get replaced in the in the first pass <coughs> Excuse me. So continue with this. Uh, we will make uh, a for loop here. Like this and uh, not this one. Let's take the interactable list. I think if we do this, no. Um, for each, so call for each. Oh, for each. Okay, and maybe I can do that here. I can if I type it correctly. So, good thing to know. <laughs> so, um, this for each loop we will uh, uh, run through all our interactables and um, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because uh, now we need to work with this dot product. So, let's go over this nice and slow and then break this up into smaller bits. Um, so. The thing we uh, the the starting point that we will work our way out from is going to be um, the static mesh. We, if you remember from the interactable here, we have had a static mesh. So we will work out from this center of this. Uh, we could work out from the location, but sometimes it's uh, oriented so it's a corner. So I will uh, use the center mass. Uh, you can get, get drag this one out. And say get center 
bars of a static sphere and it will make this automatic uh, node in between so let's just drag this out okay so this gives a, a, a location of the center of this mass and we also need uh, what we are looking at and since we now have two cameras we can have kind of a problem but let's just ignore this for now and let's just pick the follow cam for now we can always change this uh, in the next one of the coming uh, videos so we want to take the world location of this, this follow camera um, world what location like this so this gives us uh, the location of our camera and we want to yeah get the general direction from uh, the camera towards the, the object so uh, we subtract these two uh, vector minus vector to get this uh, direction so, so we have a vector now from the camera to the item and s since uh, this dot product needs to work uh, on a normalized version so, uh, which is a vector that is one uh, long uh, we will call normalize here. Okay, so um, in a similar way, we need to get a forward vector for the camera, and the forward vector is already already normalized. So get forward vector here, and it now comes in our little uh, dot product. So I type dot, and we get this dot product, and controls drag down here and plug this one in so now we have this dot, um, very mentioned dot product um, and now we want to make a few uh, checks so if we uh, remember that variable that we set in all the way in the beginning uh, which is our best current best uh, candidate uh, we will compare this with this new uh, product uh, dot product. So we get this um, and split it so we can make a comparison with this. So let's check if this is greater than uh, this current one and since the first time we uh, run into this this is going to be minus one so it's obviously going to be greater than. I hope so otherwise if we are going to be looking straight uh, going to have it right behind us anyway um, but one thing also we want to have some kind of threshold to work out with uh, so we also want to say if this is greater than um, a certain amount so if you remember uh, one is straight ahead so and uh, a little bit to the sides let's drag out the drawing again so if um, uh, let me quickly remove this uh, and remove this and say uh, we have our little character here uh, let's make a copy of him here and he's looking straight forward like this so uh, let's say we want something to uh, we want to be be able to react kind of um, if he's looking at an object from this angle up till this angle so that would make pretty good sense probably uh, so I have experimented my way to this, so a value of generally 0 0.8 is going to be uh, around this. So 0 0.8 uh, is going to be uh, the dot product in both the one, uh, both uh, directions. Uh, luckily, so we can just uh, input this into our uh, comparison here. So instead of one, here, we can put 0 0.8, and we want both of these. Um, um, branches to be true so we type and and plug this one in here so um, that's all the kind of um, hard calculations we really need to do here so uh, if we continue over here we have uh, this we have the mass and we continue to say okay did we in this process this is going to be a little bit long so uh, make a branch uh, so let's react on this. Did we really find something that we uh, f found as a better interactable? If yes, then we will set a new um, current best interactable and we will set this to be and split and then we will get this 
um, the dot product down here. Now it gets a little bit spaghetti-ish, but uh, you can fix this up yourself if you want to. And the net, the best current interactable uh, will drag all the way over from the array output of the array over here. So coming from the output of the for each loop all the way here. So this is what the the loop body is going to do. And uh, finally, when we are done in uh, looping all these through, uh, we will have to set which uh, interaction was the best one. So, uh, so to finish this up, I will uh, quickly make a branch down here. Branch, a branch, and we will drag the, our current uh, inter best interactable because maybe we didn't find any. Uh, so we need to make a quick check of that. So. Um, Let's uh, split this one and say, did we find anything in here? Because if we didn't, uh, then obviously uh, when we insert here, uh, we, will, we didn't find anything and then we need to do something else. So uh, let's get this valid. I think it's this one. I always mistake them, but not this time. Thank you. Um, plot this one in. So um, I will continue with this. Uh, in the next video, because we will then uh, start to se set the best, the current interaction, and uh, yeah, set this up. And if you remember, I had a little, um, I had a little missing uh, branch over here, because I will also fill up that in the same um, video. So for now, thank you, and I hope you can follow this and. Uh, Keep hanging because we are almost done. Alright, bye bye.